I like to introduce switch statements. So I have this program right here where it prompts the user for a number between one and 12, which is a month. And then that reads into month. And then it displays what month that is with a C out statement. So I'm going to run it right here. And I picked the number seven. Oops, down here. Seven. And it prints out July. So that's good. However, this is a series of 12 if statements, which is not very good anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this with a switch statement. So a switch statement starts with the word switch. And then you ask the user basically to supply a variable that will be used to determine what you are going to do. So it's the key. And this is the month. And inside of this switch statement, I have multiple different case statements. Each case statement has a constant value that it could be. So do case, and if my case value is one, then what I wanna do is I want to display this thing right here, number, or display the word January, and then I want to break out. Now, if I had something, say we had um, months that looped around, say someone decided they wanted to have a number 13, which doesn't actually happen, but let's just say that it did. So I could take this and I could have case one or 13 would both be January. So that's how you could do multiple cases that do the same thing. So if I go through and I take the rest of these months, I can cut all that and go here, paste it inside, and then I can remove some code. So I'll go ahead and remove that and remove that. Just make it a bunch of uh, print statements, basically. And then I can go ahead and clean up the case statements. So we got all these numbers from one to nine or one to 12 and each one should be its own separate case statement. All right, so now I do a case, case two, and then if it's case two, then it will do this statement right here, and that ends with a break. And then I do a case three, and for that one, it is this March. And then I have a break and I can do other things um, besides just one statement here in case four, case five, case six, case seven, case eight, case nine, case 10, case 11 and case 12. So then I can take each of these and put them in their respective locations. Now you want to make sure you end each one with a K with a break. Otherwise strange things can happen. So let's go ahead and look and see what happens there. So first of all, I'll get all these in place. All right. And after you're done with this case statement, you close with a closed curly brace. However, you can have um, other statements in there too. We'll get to that in just a moment. So we'll go ahead and end this. Now I didn't put breaks from four to 12, but I do have them in one, two, and three. So I'll go ahead and run this now and we'll see what happens with a couple of different numbers. So I do run and I run with a number two and it says February. That's great. We'll go ahead and run it again. And it says pick a number and I picked the number eight. And you can see that it prints August, September, October, November, December, which is not what I want. But what it's doing is it's not breaking out. So is it's like this eight is a jump right into into here and it says, okay, we jump into eight and then we're going to do everything 
from eight on until we hit something. So that's basically what's happening here. So you'd want to make sure that you have the break statement copied and put wherever you want it to be. So I copy that one and put it here, 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 and all these places all the way down so that it does everything we want. Okay. Now at this point, I can go ahead and run this, run the code, and I pick the number eight again, and this time it only prints out the number or the, the month August. The last thing I want to show you with this is the a case that it doesn't match one of these things. So if it doesn't match any of these things, then I want to have a default. And then I can do STD C out invalid because it's not one of these cases. STD and L. So I go ahead and run this now. Run the code and I pick the number, let's say I pick the number is zero. It says invalid because it's not one of the 12 picked there. I can run it again. And I pick the number 13 because I did actually put that one in there and that one says January. And I run this again. And I pick the number 14 and it says invalid. So run it again. I pick the number three and it says March. So you can go ahead and do case statements now. All part of this switch thing and use that instead of if statements when you have a whole series of things and that makes sense. I right. hope that makes sense for you.